Hi, today I'm going to turn this scrap of rebar into a hatchet just like this one, or very similar to this one. So stay tuned. And it all starts with a blow dryer. So once I get my steel up to temperature, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten this out. Now it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. So we're going to wind up putting a bend in there anyway. Uh, but if it's close to straight, that would be good. Return this to heat. So the next thing, next thing I'm going to do is called upsetting the metal. And that's where we um, try to concentrate a bit more material toward the end, because this is where our blade is going to be, or our bit, since we're making an axe, or a, a hatchet, really. So a lot of times what you'll see people do, um, you'll see people cool, uh, kind of kind of quench the steel right down to just maybe an inch and a half or two from the end. Um, and the reason they're doing that is so that that concentration of steel really gets right out there to the very end. It doesn't, it doesn't really uh, work its way back up. We're not really looking for a taper. We really want a lot of, a lot of steel concentrated right at the end. Now, depending on, depending on how big you want that blade area to be, you can keep doing this, and you can pack quite a bit of steel down into the end there. Uh, I don't really plan on doing that because I'm not going for a really big blade at the end. I'm just uh, gonna produce something that's functional and to give you the idea. A little cool, so I'll return that to heat.
We're getting pretty close to the shape we want. Don't hurt your back. Lift with your legs. <laughs> Very good. So Sam, did you want to give it a try? Yeah. All right, go around the same way Michael did. There you go. All right, don't hurt yourself. Lift with your legs. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, there it was. I saw it. I saw it. It came up. Yeah, there you go. Nice work. Stay back over there, guys. All right. Now. Whoa. Look. That's a super easy. It was so hot. Mm -hmm. Blend it really easily. Yeah. 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 So your idea is to get completely blended. Yeah, you're almost there. Did you upset the metal at all? A little. What does upset mean again? It, it means that you pound the metal back act until you have more metal to work with. So generally, uh, I do like to heat treat and temper uh, projects that I'm working on. Uh, it isn't necessary for this project. I mean, you're not really making something that you want to hold a really wicked edge for uh, through a lot of abuse. Uh, it's pretty easy to sharpen up an axe and get it back up to, or hatchet, get it back up to uh, splitting sharpness or uh, uh, or useful sharpness, uh, even if you haven't hardened it. And with rebar, it, rebar is notoriously hit and miss uh, anyway. So, uh, but I just wanted to show that it is a process that I do, I, I generally try to do, and uh, uh, maybe I'll do another video on that some other time. And again, after the zombies come, uh, of course, all the electricity will still be on, and everyone will have access to, uh, to a grinder. So, you're going to want to do this with your handy-dandy post-apocalypse grinder. Um, no, I, I will say this, in, in all seriousness... Uh, there's nothing that I'm doing here with power tools that you can't do uh, by hand with sandpaper or uh, metal files or whatever, but sure saves time if you got a grinder. So there's some wood that I split with it. Show you the end there. Um, uh, now this isn't this isn't properly sharpened or anything. This is just uh, I just hit it with the grinder on both sides, and um, I don't know if you can see, but it's it's pretty dull. I haven't really put an edge on it yet, but it already splits wood, and I managed to sink it into the. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. That's kind of the base for my anvil, but that's all right. I got a new anvil. I'll be putting up soon. Right through a knot. Right through a knot. Can I try? Sure. That is actually really nice. It's like a really strong hack.
Well, that's it for today. Uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the show. And tomorrow, or possibly the next day, depending on when I get it edited, uh, I'm going to put a handle on this because that's the one thing I didn't get done that I really should a grip, something that, that you can grip it with. So it, that'll, that should be a short show, and I think it'll come together pretty quick. Uh, and then for the project after that, well, i got a couple ideas. Maybe I'll talk more about it uh, next time. So again, thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day or wonderful night, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and we'll see you in the next video.